Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today's lesson is about money and the substrate is percentage discount. To begin with, have you ever walked into a shop and found these labels on items? Like uh, you find a, the price of, a, of an item is labeled 1000 but against it, you see another label written 10% off. So this 10% off is what you call percentage discount. And the price marked on this, uh, and the price written on this item or commodity is what we call marked price. Therefore, in this case, you are told that you are going to buy the item with less 10 because 10 has been taken off. This brings us into what we call percentage discount. How do we get percentage discount? Percentage discount is equal to discount of a marked price times a hundred percent or you can as well do what we call percentage relation that is the marked price its percentage is always a hundred percent for instance in our example here if you are given 10 percent off it means that you are not going to buy the item at a hundred percent ten percent has been taken off from this percent meaning now your buying price or selling price by the seller now is going to be less by 10. Therefore, it's going to be 90% because 10% has been taken off from the marked price. So let's work out in this case what will be our buying price. Also, what is going to be the selling price by the seller if there's a discount of 10%. Now let's apply the percentage relation to work out this question. If a hundred percent, which is the percentage for the mark price all the time, what about ninety percent for the buying price or selling price will be equal to what? Now, whatever you don't know, if we give it letter X and now we cross multiply. A hundred percent X is equal to ninety percent multiplied by a thousand. We want the value of x, so we divide here on both sides by 100%. So this they go. This percent goes that percent. A zero goes that zero, and this zero with that zero. So our x is going to be 900. Therefore, the buying price will be 900 here. Instead of you paying a thousand, now you are paying. 900 because a discount has, be has been given. They can as well ask you what was the discount. After getting the selling price and the marked price is here, now we apply the formula for getting discount. A discount from a previous lesson we said that discount is equal to marked price, take away buying price or selling price. And therefore, in this case, our discount is going to be a marked price of a thousand. Taking away our buying price of 900 and it's going to be 100. So our discount was 100 shillings. In this question, you are told that the marked price for a book is 160 shillings. Munene paid 152 after being allowed a discount. What was the percentage discount? So in this question, you have two unknowns. One of the unknown is the discount. And the next thing is the percentage discount. So let's go back to the question, analyze it to see what we are given. You have been told the max price for a book is shillings 160. So our max price according to the question is 160 shillings. Murena paid, meaning he bought it. So the buying price was 152 shillings. So what was the percentage discount? Before going there, we need to get the discount because how do we get percentage discount? Percentage discount is equal to the discount of a max price 
multiplied by a hundred. Meaning that there is no way you can get percentage discount until you get the discount itself. So let's get the discount. Discount is equal to marked price, takeaway, buying price or selling price. So our discount according to the question is going to be our marked price of 160, takeaway 152, which is going to be 8 shillings. So Munene was allowed a discount of 8. Instead of him, him paying 160, he paid 152. Meaning he bought the item less by 8 shillings, which is our discount. So now let's get the percentage discount, which is the discount of a marked price of 160 multiplied by 100. This zero goes that zero by 8, 1, by 8, 2, by 2, 1, by 2, 5. Therefore, Monelia was given a 5% percent discount in this example we are told that the marked price for a shirt was 150 shillings a customer paid 135 shillings after being allowed a discount how much was the percentage discount in this question we need to know what we are given we are given the marked price and the marked price as we analyzed was 150 shillings a customer paid, so the buying price was shillings 135. And the question is, how much was the percentage discount? So you're looking for the percentage discount. Is it equals to what? Therefore, here, we need to apply the formula. And percentage discount is equal to discount of a marked price multiplied by 100. And how do we get our discount? In the question, we don't have discount. So discount is equal to marked price, take away buying price or selling price. So let's get our discount first. 150 take away 135. So 150 take away 135. Borrow 130 take away 5, it's 5. 4 take away 3, it's 1. And the discount was 15 shillings. Now let's proceed and get the percentage discount. Our discount is 15. Our marked price is 150. Multiply by 100. So 0 goes is 0. By 5 is 3. By 5 is 2. By 3, 1. By 3, 5. 5 times 2 is 10. And the answer is 10%. In this example, the price of an item was reduced by. 360 shillings this represents a 20 percent discount what was the price of the item after the discount now let's start by analyzing our question the price of an item was reduced by 360 so what is this in the real sense this is our discount remember discount is the price reduced so our discount is the discount of 360. And I've been told that this, what is it? This, this 360 represents a 20% discount. So this 360 is equivalent to 20% in terms of percentage. So the question is, what was the price of the item after, after the discount? How do we call the price after the discount? The price of the discount is called the buying price or the selling price by the seller. Therefore, we are being asked about the buying price. We said that when we are beginning our lesson, we can work out percentage discount, but we call percentage relation. And we said that the max price is always equal to 100%. But the buying price or selling price is always less than this because a discount has been allowed. So we can get our buying price by relating percentages. A discount of 20% was given, meaning the item was bought less than 100 by 20. So the buying price percentage is 80%. And now we can use that idea to get the known because we know the quantity that is equivalent to 20% is 360. So now here you can use the idea of cross multiplication and use of the word if. So if 20% is equal to 360, what about the buying price percentage is 
is equals to what? So whatever you do, I give it a letter. So you cross multiply. So 20% x is equals to 360 multiplied by 80%. You want the value of x, so divide both sides by 20%. And our x, we are left with the x here. Our percentage, they cancel one another. Zero goes with zero. By two, one, by two, four. So our x is equals to 360 multiplied by four. Four times zero is zero. Four times six is 24. We carry two. Four times three is 12. 12 plus two is 14. Therefore, our buying price or selling price was 1440. Let's do our next example. In this example, we are told that James bought a car for 42,000 shillings after being offered a 16% discount. How much money would have been the discount and he bought the car for 21,000 shillings? Therefore, we need to read the question as we analyze step by step. We have been told James bought, meaning buying price. So this is our buying price. So our buying price is 42,000. And we are told he bought this one after he was offered a discount of, of 16%. Therefore, our buying price is equal to 42,000. And this buying price was after a discount of 16%. Meaning, the discount is not in terms of quantity, but in terms of percentage. This should draw you to attention of relating using percentages. If the discount was 16%, then we need to get a percentage that is equivalent to the buying price. The max price percentage was 100%. But a discount of 16 was given, meaning the item was bought less than 100% by 16%. Therefore, the buying price percentage is going to be 100 take away 16. He bought a 1 there, 9. 10 take away 6 is 4. 9 take away 1 is 8. So 84% is equivalent to 42,000. Let's continue reading our question. How much money would have been the discount and he bought the car for 21,000? So if 84% is equal to 42,000, what about 100% for the max price will be what? We cross multiply. 84% x is equal to 42,000 multiplied by 100%. So you want the value of x, so we divide both sides by 84%, and also here by 84%. The percentage goes with that percentage. By 42, 2, by 42, 1. 1, 2, 3. That is 1,000 times 100. Then by 2, 1, by 2, 50. So 50 times 1,000 is 50,000. Meaning that our marked price is 50,000. So if the buying price is 21, if our buying price now is 21,000, what will be the discount? And you know how do we get a discount? Discount is equal to marked price, take away buying price. And according to our question now, our marked price is 50,000. And our buying price is 21,000. So let's take away 50,000. Take away 21,000. Zero take away zero is zero. Zero, zero, you borrow one there. 10 take away one, it's nine. Four take away two, it's two. And therefore, our discount we would have been 29,000. I wish you the best and kindly subscribe. Click the notification bell, leave a comment, and also practice. Remember, practice makes perfect. Then, for bye bye.